your boy Mr. Sanchez. Thanks for hitting that play button. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, smash the like button. Now let's get into it. So I jumped and I got a new camera. Um, my first YouTube camera was the Panasonic Lumix G7 and it's a dope camera and especially for new YouTubers. You know, I'm still a new, I'm still a new YouTuber, but you know, for you to to just not know if you want to if you actually want to do this and just you know you're not going to just jump out the window and get like a sony a7r2 and spend 2500 bucks and you don't even know if if you like this or this is something you want to keep on doing so the panasonic g7 lumix with the kit lens comes in right around 500 bucks and it's a great great starter camera now my only issue with the g7 was the autofocus right so if you're doing your if you're doing your your research on the g7 you hear a lot of people complain about the autofocus and it's and especially in 4k in 4k the autofocus struggles tremendously so if you're doing stuff like product reviews where you're bringing a product you know to the to the uh the front you're bringing it back you're bringing it to the front it's definitely a lag and you know it's, it's something as, as a new as a new youtuber new product reviewer you can get past you know it, it could seem like it's it's not a big deal but if you're out let's say you're vlogging and you're out in the street you see something real cool it's happened to me before you get your camera boom you you get you try to get the shot and it's out of focus you know so you're, you're sitting there you're trying to hunt 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 and it, that's only gonna happen to you so many times before you say you know I'm, I'm not with this. Also, the lens options on the Lumix are very expensive. So while vlogging, I needed a wide angle lens. So, so, cause if not, all you would see was like this when I'm vlogging, right? So I looked at the wide angle lens for the G7 and that was almost 700 bucks and change, which is more than I paid for the camera. And I started doing reviews on that and it was still lagging on autofocus. So I I said, you know, I'm not gonna keep on dumping money into the system if I'm not completely happy with it. So I had two options. I could go Sony or Canon. Now Sony Sony's killing it right now with their with their camera lineup and you know Canon is just one step behind because they haven't brought the 4K to a reasonable price point you know you can get like the 1xd that does 4k but you know that's a seven thousand dollar camera and who's gonna who's gonna do that and also with sony you're gonna have super expensive lenses almost like thousand dollar lenses and stuff like that if you want to go with a wide angle or you want to get a decent lens so for me i thought i'm just gonna go with the canon you know the canon is um i actually got this ADD right here, I got it for $8.99 shipped. Now, if you go on Amazon, you're gonna see it's $1,200 just for the body alone. Now, also on Amazon, you're gonna see it brand new for $8.99, but it's gonna say international version, right? So, you know, you kind of, you know, if you, you could be like, oh, well, you know, what does that mean? Is it worth it? So basically, what the international version means is that Canon has different price points for every part of the world, right? So if you live in America, 
you know, we're gonna get hit with a higher price point as, as if you were selling the camera in Cambodia, right? In Cambodia, it's gonna be cheaper than it is gonna be in the States. So what, 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 what they do is that people buy the camera in Cambodia or wherever. This camera actually came from Canada and they sell it on Amazon for a way cheaper price. So I was like, dude, I don't know if it's worth the gamble because they say you don't get a warranty, right? Now I've heard Can Canon's warranty isn't really that good. Anyway, they, they give you a short warranty and when you send it in, they always charge you to fix the camera. So I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Let, let me take the gamble. You know, if I, if I unbox the camera and I don't, I don't like what I see, if I think it's refurbished, if I think the camera's been used before, I'll just send it back and get my money back. So that's exactly what I did. So I bought the international version. I took that risk, so you guys don't have to take that risk. And this is how it came. So this is the box. Came in a brand new box with no lens, right? Even though here it says that it comes with a lens. I imagine that when they buy this internationally, you know, they, they buy it with the kit lens, then they separate the lens from the camera and they sell the lens separately and they sell the body separately. So it didn't come with that. But Canon had, Canon has a great deal on budget lenses. So I got this wide angle lens, right? Which is a 10 to 18 lens, which is super, super wide for $200, $200 compared to the Lumix, which is $700. And I got another 55, almost like a prime lens, you know, to take stills and things of that nature. So I've been running and gunning with this camera for a little over a week and a half. And I have no complaints. You know, it's a brand new camera. It's never been used. I set it up, you know, it came in English. You know, it wasn't like no weird language or anything like that. And, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about it. I'm super happy with it. The, the image quality is, is really dope. The, uh, the colors are awesome and the autofocus, it just nails the autofocus on everything. You know what I mean? In, in seconds. And you know, that's really what my gripe was with the Lumix. You know, if the Lumix had just, um, had just nailed the autofocus all the time, then I wouldn't have to go through this. But you know, that's, that's just this compromise. There's no perfect camera, you know? So for my needs, and I'm, I'm a noob, you know, just so you let you guys know. I'm not a camera expert. I just got into it, this stuff this year. I'm still learning as, you know, time goes on. But I'm, I'm super happy with this. And don't be scared to buy the international version of cameras on Amazon. You, it's, it's a great way to save money. You know, for $8.99, a brand new Canon 80D and works flawlessly. It doesn't have a fingerprint on it. It's beautiful. You know, if you go to B&H Photo and you could buy them used and they're not even that price, they're more expensive. And they've been hanging around somebody's neck, thrown it out of people's bag. Have the sensor has a bunch of images that have been ran through it already. So definitely, um, don't be scared to buy the international versions unless you absolutely, positively must have a warranty. Um, that, that that's the compromise there it's not it's not a big deal to me you know if if something happens with the camera i'll send it back to canon and i'll just i'll just pay for it so that's it that's going to be my new camera for vlogging and doing product reviews this is the box it came with and i'm out thanks for hitting that play button like comment subscribe